I'm done. I'm done. I quit. I give up. <laughs> um, I just, I resign. White flag. Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel Taste Tips, the go-to place for skincare, beauty, and lifestyle videos that dare to break down barriers and challenge expectations. Now a few people have hit me up this week on my Instagram asking me if I change up my skincare routine for the winter versus the summer or the different seasons and the truth is I actually do. Where I live in Canada it is so cold like so cold, like negative 14 degrees Celsius, kind of cold. And so when the wind is hitting your face, it makes you super dry. I always wake up with like scaly skin. So you have to combat that by changing up your routine and really hydrating your face with different products and different masks mask that I use as well as serums. So without further ado, if you are looking for something that is super hydrating and a good solid routine for the winter, stay tuned. This is the routine I use to go to sleep before I go and get my beauty rest. So I start off with my tried and true, which is the Clinique cleansing balm. And it kind of feels like a coconut oil or whatever a massage therapist would use on your body. And it is super hydrating and really gets all of the makeup off your face, breaks down your mascara, and I just love it. Now that the face is all clean, I'm going to go in with the anti-aging cleansing gel from Peter Thomas Roth. It retails for $47 at um, Sephora and it's actually something that's very new to my routine but I've been liking it. It kind of smells peachy and fresh and since I have combination skin, it says I can use it about two times a day if in the morning and night if I want to. Um, if you have dry skin, it's recommended to use only a few times a week, but you know, you just apply it on the face, lather it in, and then we can go into the mask. Um, that smells so good. Okay, I was like, <laughs> did I choose something wrong? Holy <laughs> crap, it smells so nice. I honestly cannot describe to you enough how amazing that cleansing gel smells like. I just I smell like a fruit basket. And now on to my favorite part of the entire skincare routine, which is the mask portion. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the Vitamin Nectar Fibrin C Boosting Face Mask. I'm reading it off my phone. They love to, masks love to have really long names. But anyway, so this product is amazing. It's $75 for 3.3 um, ounces, but you can get the one ounce 30 ml bottle for $30 from Sephora, so I think it's a pretty good option if you want to give it a try. And what I love about this is that it's really, really good at boosting your skin, making it look extra glowy. It's made with 50% crushed fruits, it's citrusy, and has a ton, I was gonna swear, slow it down together. It has a ton of vitamin C in it, which is super good for the skin and really helps to keep you glowing through those winter days. It smells so good. I love it. <laughs> Mm. You can instantly like smell the lemon and some of the orange. God, it's so fresh coming through. The mask is all applied and something that you should definitely keep in mind is that because it is made with real fruits, the shelf life on it is 12 months. So you want to make sure that you kind of keep a record in your head of when you bought it because you know they're fruits and you don't want them to go bad and for you to be using an expired product. Um, it also recommends that you kind of gently rub it into your face because it works as a gentle um, exfoliant but it's not too harsh on the skin. Because you can see there's actual like chunks of fruit on my face. Oh, it smells so good. And now we wait 10 minutes and then I will wash this off and go to the next step. One of the major things that this mask is known for is helping with dullness and uneven skin tone. I definitely have uneven skin tone. I have like dark circles and just like dark patches on my face because, you know, that's just naturally how it is. Um, and also because of the winter, I get really dull skin. It kind of loses its glow and shine. So I love using this mask to help bring that back and fool my skin to think it's summer. So as always, I have my girl Ariana here with me who helps me with my filming and also with putting on all of my products because, you know, can't use these hands because I'm a quad. But anyways, how does it feel on your skin? It 
feels amazing. It feels so refreshing because of the citrus. Yeah, it smells. The smell. Mm -hmm. The smell. Oh my god, it's so crazy seeing it on your face. <laughs> I can actually see the chunks. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like you dug into like some jam or like yeah. marmalade. It's kind of like, it kinda jam. like Yeah, it feels like marmalade almost. <laughs> so it's been 10 minutes. It kind of hardens a little bit, but not too much. Tightens a little bit. Just wash it off and on to the next step. So a taste tip, I just actually went in and re-washed my face again because the mask can be a little bit sticky after you take it off, which is to be expected after having fruits on your face. Um, but the next step, which is step number four, is to tone my face. So I'm going to be using the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. It actually has rose petals in it. It's super pretty. It was voted in in 2017 by Allure as their best of Allure list, and it really, really hydrates the face, and it's been something I've been loving this entire month. So the way I love to apply it is I love to just really hydrate the little cotton pad that I have it on and then just kind of rub it in. It takes out all of your impurities, any leftover makeup or mask product I have on my face and leave it super hydrated. What I like to do is let the toner sit for a little bit before I put any moisturizer on it. So I'm gonna be kind of combining steps five and six together. And the first thing I'm gonna be putting on is the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff from the origin. It really like brightens your under eye area. It's good for morning and night. I'm gonna be using it at night today, um, but it really helps to get rid of those dark circles. And then I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Sugar Scrub. I know Tarte has been under some fire lately for not having a really expensive line for their concealer, but I purchased this before all of that drama and the lip scrub is really good. To be honest, it's kind of just made from sugar and a little bit of like some kind of Vaseline-like product, but it really helps to break down all the dry skin on your lips. So for my colored girls who are a little bit darker complexion, I would say that like if you're gonna be using this eye cream before you go out anywhere that to use it sparingly because it is a little bit lighter than your skin as you can see it really is brighter than my skin after it soaks in for a while it kind of fades out um, but you would want to use it sparingly if you're going to be going out on the day but you know I'm going to sleep so it doesn't really matter And for the lips, you're just gonna wanna, you know, apply the crap out of it all over your lips and then rub it in. The great thing about this lip scrub, whoo, can't even speak, is that it's edible, so you can actually eat it if it gets in your mouth. But just kind of rub it in like this to get all the excess skin off, and then you can wipe off the rest. Now we're almost done, but for step seven and eight, I just like to go in with extra moisture on my lips. I really, that is like one of my huge problem areas in the winter, so I'm going to be using the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm from Fresh, which I love and is becoming my new like cult favorite. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of the Rose Gold Elixir from Farm. From, from, Blah, 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 blah. from Far Sally, which everybody loves, everybody knows it's like Instagram famous and it really, it really does work, especially on your lips. We have pretty much come to the end of my skincare routine. I'm just gonna go in with my moisturizer and then my favorite spray to end everything with. And today I'm gonna be using the Chanel Hydro Beauty Serum. It's a little bit bougie, it's a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, I typically use the moisturizing gel from Clinique, but this whole month I've been trying out this Chanel product. It smells amazing, and it works really, really well to hydrate the skin. And then I'll be finishing it off with the famous Mario Badesco um, skincare facial spray, and it has aloe, I'm like reading it over here, aloe, herbs, and rose water. It smells already. Oh my good. god. It smells so good. Thank you. 
Congratulations, you've reached the end of my skincare routine. I know it seems really long, but once you kind of get into the flow it, but it's really fun to do. And in the winter time, it sucks. Your skin is dull, your skin is dry. And I think my skin is visibly more hydrated and feels super soft and not as dull as it looked before. So in the comments, please let me know what you are using to combat the winter weather. And if you liked what you saw today, please hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Come back for more skincare review videos and skincare tip videos. Thank you so, so, so much for watching today. I love you and until next time, bye!